day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Father God, thank you for this time of fellowship. Thank you for being in the midst of us this morning. Lead and guide our steps, we pray in Jesus' name. Just talk to us this morning, Lord God, and strengthen us in you. Yes. Let us live the fullness of this life. Let us hear from you this morning, Lord God, and every morning. Every morning. Help us to pray without ceasing, Lord God. Even as we fellowship one with another, let us keep our minds stayed on you. Bind us together on one accord to bring us together in unity by the power of your Holy Ghost, Lord God, by the direction of your Holy You said if we two touch the agreement upon anything, it will come to pass. Bring us together in agreement, Lord God, this morning that your will might be manifested in the earth. That others be drawn to you and receive eternal life, even as we have received it. And these things I pray in the name of my Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Awesome prayer, brother. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You know what? The, the title, Elder, we're talking about today is... Uh, Racism, hate, uh, are not compatible with Jesus Christ. Amen. And and one of the reasons I wanted to put in there, and I, I hope it'll reach the uh, person that will see this video, is I asked some of my conservative brethren uh, in, the, in, the, in the workforce, and, and I asked them about, do you know what the fruits of the Spirit is? And we was also talking about policies that need to be addressed. And uh, what 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 I want to say, what I want to say is, Brother Addison, that's a lot of people don't know the fruits of the spirit. They don't even know that there is the scripture that address the fruits of the spirit, the behavior and the characteristics of what the Holy Spirit wants us to bring forth. And if if you know that could have been intentional for some people because that way they don't have to compare that with the actions or their behavior. You know what I mean? In other words, God wants you to operate in love. But if I have some form of racism, some form of hate, especially toward a group of people, then, then I don't need to learn that. Somebody don't, if somebody don't teach me that, mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy not to know about it. So I'm saying, look, look, this study today is you will know about the characteristics of the fruits of the spirit for those who listen to this video. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's what we want to, we want to make sure you know. And, and I'm also, there's also another reverse on that is for us that are believers. And those of us maybe only the uh, receiving end, based on our minority uh, status in life, and I really mean, uh, I guess our demographics and so forth, is that, uh, one second, is that we don't want to become like those we feel have animosity towards you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfectly sense. Um, just this just happened uh, yesterday. Oh, um, I had a uh, a friend of mine post uh, some history, you know, real American history, talking about uh, black slaves, you know, and and. Uh, how when they were freed, how the police were were put up, you know, to to uh, bring slaves into, I mean, freed slaves <coughs> into prison for black laws, laws that were written just for black men, yeah, so that they can still go out and be right back into the fields to work off their uh, fines, yeah, which were excessive, you know, and all this stuff was done purposely, and. So there was this one person, you know, he comes in and he's like, uh, he's like, America also freed the slaves. And so I, I just couldn't let it go. Yes, sir. You know, and uh, so I just responded. 
I said, so you said that to make slavery okay in your mind? And that's all I put. And so then he comes back, you know, with some, uh, I said, oh, I said, uh, I said, does that make it okay that you said that? Because there's still uh, slavery today. So he comes back, you know, uh, you're stupid. You know, there is no, you show me one slave today. And so I just responded. I wanted to say a whole lot of other things. But I thought about it for a second and I just responded back, you know. I was like, you know, why are you a making personal attacks when we were just having a conversation about a topic? And I said, so are you fearful of the topic to where you have to attack me and not address the topic? And right. so I said, well, there are still slaves. If you would look at what the original text was about, you know, then you'll understand that what I'm talking about is the uh, slavery based on incarceration. That's slavery yeah, it because is. incarceration is a revenue now with these private prisons. They make uh -huh. money off of, off of people. And it's not just people of color, it's everybody. Is if they're incarcerated, these prisons make money. So that's slavery because they're holding people you know, to generate an a income. And right. then I said, and there's also uh, uh, sex trafficking. That's right. slavery. Right. And I said, so there you go. There's two just right off the top of my head. Never heard anything else. I didn't attack him. I just addressed the man in love because I wanted to say a whole lot. He didn't, he didn't respond to that? No, he just dropped off the thread. Oh, he's on some kind of a uh, network uh, media? Yeah. There okay. was a social media uh, post uh, with an article showing uh, showing some people in prison guard, you okay. know, working back in the field that were free, but put in prison on some, some made up laws just for black people. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're just out if you're not working, then that's uh, vagrancy or something, and then they yeah. arrest you, uh, right. or or you know just all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah there is you know, a just to, there's, just to be able to arrest folks uh, just, if you're out after after dark or if you're gathered together. Matter of fact, uh, one of them that I remember is if you didn't get a job, a written permit. Oh, okay from the chief of police, the president of the police department, then you couldn't preach the gospel. Wow. That's still true. That's still and still they would arrest these police, I mean, these, yeah. these, these ministers or anybody else who was ministering the gospel and put them in prison. And, and they would fine them to the point to where it was so excessive, mm. they couldn't pay it. And so they that was their, their uh, reasoning behind making them work off those fines by bringing them right back to the very uh plantations that had them enslaved yeah to work the fields that that, that is still happening now because what we, we refer to as a prison industrial complex and where it starts that is in the elementary school and i can say that i have been involved in that to the point where i know it's true they undermine the education of the children at a very early age so a lot of these kids are not successful academically and when they get older they get frustrated and aggravated and they do stuff that's criminal they in in making they were really addressing the issue of them having excessive penalties for like minor infractions but what it actively did was and i saw this because they used to do prison ministry over uh, over in fort valley and making and i mean fort valley and perry and in warner robins um uh, they would give these guys at the age of 18 years old, some of them got up to 15 years in jail. Wow. And they were handing it out like it was lunch. So they did, cause I mean, I can't three strikes you out or something like that, I can't remember what the thing was, but it was actually put in place by the Clintons. Some of the legislation that they got passed, some of the things that they had concerned prisoners really incarcerated blacks up to the point where it was, it was excessive. And they've had to go back and redress some of that or address some of that. Wait. 
it was a way of getting them into the prison system so that they could be farmed out. They did that after, uh, like you were saying before, whatever your, your friend had introduced into the uh, conversation the other day, uh, it's still happening right now and it's traceable. It takes you back to the thought that says that for the love of money is the root of all evil. It was all done for money. It, it, the the, 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 uh, the, the tr slavery was the cheapest form of labor that you could find. It was, it was perpetuated. Free, you, free, you, free. You can't get no cheaper than free labor. Yeah, yeah. And then you get, you make your own workforce. Uh, the, all the children that were born belong to you too. Yeah. So it was a perpetual. Was a, and so it was it was an ideal, I mean, a workforce. And it, it is the cheapest form of labor you could have. Prop it over the top. But it was still wrong. <clears throat> in accordance with what? In accordance with the way that God saw it. Was slavery something that wasn't in the Bible? It was. Even the Jews had slaves. Yeah, it wasn't like the, the, the way they like slaved out America. Did. It was yep. different. It and was I think more that, of the servitude in the Bible than it is uh, here in the States. You know, you just owned and you're treated, you know, like an animal. Yep. When, when in the Bible, they these people were, they, they were uh, accepted into the tribes, you know, and... Uh, they weren't they were less than as, as far as if they weren't uh children of god but they were still treated uh to the point with civility so they worked off their debt and then they were set free yeah. and uh yeah. and oftentimes if 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 their spouse if they married someone you know that was in bondage as well they would sometimes just stay a, a indentured servant to be with that person that was voluntarily yep. you know <laughs> done so it, it, it was it's a big difference between uh the two you know because a lot of people say that you know africans were were selling off uh slaves yeah well they weren't treating them that way and i don't believe that they would have sold them to uh to these uh europeans if they knew that how they would be treated. Mm. So, yeah. but anyway, that's we we will never know. But here's, here's the other thing too that you know. <clears throat> that's true about that. Uh, Cause I even had one guy that told me he said, uh, "People born in this country hit the lottery, right? <laughs> if, you, if you're born here, it's hit the lottery." And I really think he was trying to say, "If we're born here, we hit the lottery, because uh, this is a better place to be." You know. Uh, opposed to some of those uh, other countries. Uh, hey, Jimmy. Hey, Pastor. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? We're doing great. We, we're in a conversation dealing with uh, racism, hate is not compatible or not compatible with Jesus Christ. So we're doing a preliminary discussion. And I, I was telling... Uh, uh, Brother Asenem, I had one of my conservative counterparts that sit there and said that people born in people born in this country hit the lottery. Uh, I probably threw him off a little bit because I said, "Well, you mean when Christopher Columbus uh, called himself coming and finding this country uh, when the Indians were here? Maybe you know because they there were some people here, so the Indians hit the lottery first, right? You know." <laughs> And, and, and then there's some other people who came and helped build this country. So the lottery is based on the backbone of a lot of people starting from the day it was discovered. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll try to say is that, don't you sit there and think that we hit the lottery when we came here. Yeah. Uh, it, it was not a lottery, <laughs> it, it was forced. Yeah, I, I cannot get away from the idea that this thing was conquest, and, and I think when we move away from that idea, it's kind of it's actually kind of cloudy and fuzzy, because the United States of America was not settled. The United States of America was conquered, and, and the indigenous people were were annihilated, and their possessions were taken. They were displaced. That is the beginning of the history as we know it, and as we became a part of it. Because after that, we we were brought in the the, the uh, chief labor force. So. No lotteries were hit. It was just a bunch of people conquering and killing fell folk off. And the one guy from the alt right says, and he said it, he was well said, we were better killers than anybody else. And he had, 
and you really couldn't, you know, debate that. They were better, better killers, and they were more willing to kill other people to take what their possessions. And it appears as though that still remains true. Yeah. That they are still among the greater killers. And, and the question becomes, like you were saying, when we come down to uh, this, this thing with the Lord Jesus Christ, I, I remember the one scripture that says, what spirit, you don't know what spirit you're of. The, the son of man did not come to take men's lives, but to save them. So how do you align? And I think that, again, a lot of that's, people don't know. How do you align topic. that with that? Exactly. That's the topic, right? The fact is that it's not compatible uh, with not Jesus possible. Christ. Yeah. Well, none of the fruits of the Spirit. That, it, it doesn't it line up at all. At right. all. At all. Right. You know, and I, I, uh, I just got to check in my spirit just by calling this the United States. It wasn't the United States. Well, the states, it was a United States until slavery was abolished. It hasn't been the United States since. And you know the thing about well, it. There's no nothing uniting these states anymore. So well, you, you can't call it really the United States. Uh, they were united before slavery was abolished, but it, it hasn't been since. Uh, but to, to try and stay on topic, you know, uh, it's amazing how people can be Christians and still treat humans the way they, they've been treated, you know, and still have the mindset uh, of being a bigot and a racist, you know, and to commit atrocities and then right turn right around and and sit there and and try and and the hallelujah and and yeah yeah uh say they're christian and and, and well, it's a and, christian nation yeah it, it's it, it's amazing it, well, it well, truly well, is but isn't well, that the same thing that jesus dealt with with james and john when they said do you want us to call down fire and devour yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, he said, so you, don't know what spirit, you don't know what spirit you're dealing with. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, though, I think, the you know, that's why I'm saying is that, that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Amen. Is that, you know, the Bible, first of all, we, we could blame it on ministries. But let's let's back up a little bit. The scripture says, for you to study yourself, you know, study to show yourself a fool. And if there are not people that encourage, to study the word of God, or they think it's a, from a religious, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a religious way of doing something, uh, opposed to, no, it's a purposely he wants you to study the word mm -hmm. so you can know what is in the word, right? Correct. Because, I mean, I, Brother Jackson, I was telling, I was talking to some of my conservative counterparts the, uh, the other day, and I asked him about, do you know about the fruits of the spirit? You know the scriptures deals with the fruits of the spirit, and and I I even encourage many of you to do your own little survey. You know, uh, and and I think you're gonna get you're gonna be amazed that many will probably not even know the fruits of the spirit or even heard of the fruits of the spirit. Well, you know. Coming up, we, we weren't taught to study the Bible. You know, we had we had Sunday school, you know, which was structured, um, but it was still somebody teaching. And uh, I know there were scriptures that were given out that we were supposed to go over with lessons and stuff like that. But as far as like that. that I can remember yeah you know uh, getting into the word was just not something that was taught it was taught that this pastor is supposed to teach you you know God's word and he hears from God and then he's supposed to actually be a uh, somewhat type of Moses person and uh -huh. you know and give you God's word and and he pretty much you know, was, had, had a lot of authority when it came to the congregation. You right. know, people people vested in these these men or, or women, but really not women back in this particular time, but uh, but they, they put so much 
uh, they gave them so much authority that they were, you know, they were put on a pedestal and they, they took every word that came out of these people's mind. And a lot of the preachers that I came up listening to, I can hear in my mind some of the messages that were taught and you can tell they weren't studied, you know, because, you know, in, in I, the, one of the churches that, that I came up in from a child, it was always read, you know, they'll tell somebody read, you know, in the, in the congregation and that person would read and then he'll say stop and then he'll just whatever pops in his mind. Yeah, yeah. He'll try and expound on that that word and it really never. Mm -hmm never lined up with what the scripture was talking about well, you it know, was I, just basically what was popped in his mind and so you're following these things that can't produce any fruits of the spirit because it did not come from god well you know i i just thought about it was that when uh they got out of slavery the masses yeah how many could read anyway There's yeah they were taught not to read <laughs> I mean, they they were taught not to study. I mean, and I just mentioned when we first started that but, but you know that, people were getting put in prison. Yeah. But our white brothers for were, ministry. Our white brothers didn't read either, and, right. and that was it, one thing that kind of kind of obvious. Poor, right, mm -hmm. the poor whites couldn't read either. They couldn't read. They believed what they were told, and if they right. were told they were better than black folk, they believed they were better than black folk. Yeah. And somebody yeah. the Bible and said it right here. It's right here. Bam. Bible that y'all shouldn't marry, you should segregate yourself. If Bam. You go, to certain, go to certain portions of the Bible, it'll be right there. The Jews were told not to marry outside of the faith. Don't right. work yourself with you, don't let your son go into these women. Don't, don't. So they did take the Bible and they justified everything that they did. And the reality of it is, is if you just look at the scriptures, you can do that. You can even justify killing babies. If yeah. you just look at it, it depending on what part you read. Right. In other words, if you're not if you're not pointing toward Jesus, you don't know the spirit. And and, and pointing toward the image that you're supposed to be transformed to. Yeah. I think that's the problem is they're not some people are not recognizing that this is a process when you come into the gospel. You know, you don't just get you don't just punch your ticket and say, I confess my mouth to Lord Jesus. Some of them don't even know that, but the fact that they say, I believe Jesus. I, I, I get baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But it stops right there. And stay yeah. obeyed. Can, can, I, can I put forth something? Just a theory? Well, you know, a hypothesis is more so than theory. But it appears as though Jesus has blessed or the people who forwarded his agenda. Because everybody at some point was ignorant. But whoever was forwarding his agenda seems to be the one that he put his resources behind. So it was never a fight against, like for us, it's not a fight against white people. The fight is actually to align ourselves with the Lord. Right. We are able to raise up one people and pull down another. And I think that that very, the, the one of the things that, and I'm gonna hush after this, uh, one of the things that God has shown us is that he is able to kill thousands without a bullet being fired. Man. Where did this COVID disease come from? Where does sickle cell anemia, why is it tailored to blacks? Why are there certain diseases that seem to be more, you know, uh, 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 have greater impact on certain races? Is God able to tailor, tailor design diseases? He didn't even use weaponry to take some of the places that they uh, occupied in Canaan land. He used animals to drive the people off. So is the fight really between us and black whites, or is it just us trying to line ourselves with the Lord? Well, you know the Bible well, said that against. those that live, those that live godly shall so suffer persecution, right? Yeah. Right. The, the scripture also said that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violence takes by force, right? And I mean, you know, you're in a spiritual warfare. I mean, the scriptures tell you that the enemy uses anything to include people, to include ignorance. You know, well, whoever subjects themselves to the God of this world, I mean, he ain't out to make peace, no. at least not with nobody trying to to be uh, to, to be a Christian, exactly, a, a real Christian. Christ, right. but, but uh, he lost. Well, 
he he did lose. He did lose. He he and he really never had any power or authority in this particular realm, this physical realm, outside of what's given him by man. He lived. Right. You know, uh, and he still does it. His, his only power and authority is over those who will it to him. Right. You cannot Except operate in this physical realm without someone supporting his agenda. Mm -hmm. So that's the warfare of the mind. He he <laughs> he, he 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 he's a spirit and he he puts thoughts in people's minds and people accept them and they do his bidding and his will. So that's just it. He has no authority, especially right. of those who know who they are in Christ Jesus. Right. If you know without a doubt that who you are in Christ, he really does not have any authority. All he can do is bring up your past. Right. And it doesn't, your past does not matter. You know, and, and like I heard someone say, every time the, the enemy comes trying to bring up your past, you tell him his future. And then move on. Basically, yeah. just get on behind me. You know, your 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 time is, is, is already set. Yeah. You know, sir, you know, Thursday we had talked about the sword, Mark chapter four. Mm -hmm. And and the key I was looking at that is the enemy focus on the words that's trying to be planted in your heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he don't want yeah. words of God planted in your heart. So he wants to distract you and plant other words, like you said, those thoughts and stuff is other things he's trying to implant yes in there so if if, if the larger society uh of the christian community is not trying to get the word planted into their hearts or only you know you know back back to second timothy again study to show yourself approved to god right in one part there's talking about rightly Divine. guiding the word yes and that means, I like Fred Price says this, if I can, if I can, if I must rightly divide the word, wrong. I can wrongly divide the word, right? Yeah. So the enemy, the key point out there I'm saying is the enemy is trying to get the word from your heart. And so therefore, if you, and Brother Jackson was talking about is that if, if Christians, the cause of Christians, whether they're conservative, political party affiliation or whatever, and they don't even know such things such as the fruits of the spirit. We, we, we're, in, we're in trouble as a body because that body does not know who they're supposed to be thriving to be, which is Christ, Right. you know? So what I had though, just to bring it, bring it into perspective is show you all these scriptures we we'll let Brother Jackson read it. Uh, read these first four, Brother Jackson. All right. Just move the screen a little bit. All right. So you want me to read uh, from Matthew 12, 33 through 37? Yes. Amen. Either make the tree good and its fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by its fruit. A generation of vipers, how can ye be evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Which basically says, you know, whatever is kind of in us, whatever, um, whether we're in the flesh or whether we're in the spirit, that's gonna come come from us. And yes, uh, we, we see that now. Uh, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, which basically means everything that we kind of talk about, everything that we utter, especially if it's uh, malicious, oh, we're going to hear about it in the day of judgment. And yes, then lastly here in 1237, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Amen. Yes. But the point of, the point of that is, the fact is that you, if you know that you're going to be known by the fruits that you bear, 
you first need to know what fruits they are, right? Amen. And 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 then, like you said, you said it too. If hate is coming out of your mouth, if disdain for some people is coming out of your mouth, uh, we got a, you got a problem, and we got a problem as a body of Christ. Right. Also, read read that last two verses too. There. Will do. For God so loved the world, this is out of John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son, that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Amen. Now, brother, but Addison, you remember when we read that, we talked about that two weeks ago, and you were focusing on the qualifier, right? Yes. And and did you did we? I think we talked about it since then. That is two different pieces there, right? Two different components. One is he loves the world, regardless of whether you save or not. But what he's talking about is, as far as your salvation, your eternal life, you got to receive and believe in him. All right. Yeah. But he's going after the the world. So for, for us as a Christian, we're supposed to have that same compassion to go after the world, to go after everybody for salvation. Because Christ loved the world, we're supposed to love the world as well. Amen? Amen. Hey, Brother Bell. How you doing there? Hey, glad to see you, brother. <laughs> you too, you too. What's happening, man? He's still What's looking young. On? He's still looking young, ain't he? Look at him. Hey, man. I'm, at, I'm find out where that, find out where that fountain of youth you got that is hidden somewhere. Come on, yeah. bro. <laughs> you see how it's great? <laughs> yeah, we see that. We see that that wisdom. That yeah, wisdom peak you got there. <laughs> but anyway, so 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 what I'm saying is that our people who got that hate and speak that hate, they're doing it because they're not understanding what Christ is about, you know? Right. And what we have to do is, is make sure that we, when we preach the gospel, when we do ministry, it's point to the scriptures. Like, you know, Brother, Brother Addison, that guy you talked about earlier, you know, when he used that word stupid, yeah, that implies, does he know whether you're an African-American or not? I believe so. <laughs> so so he just another gave another form of the word. He gave another form of the version of the N word, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Yeah, but what he doesn't know is, is I, I love that that verse in the Bible and it says if you don't say anything, no one's gonna know how stupid you are. <laughs> <laughs>